In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a particle logo animation just like this in After Effects using new TrapCode Particular 18. You can download the plugin via the link in the description. With that said, let's jump to the tutorial. First, I'm going to create a new composition, name it Render. It will be in 1920 by 1080 and 30 frames per second. Click OK, then drag your logo to the timeline. Press S on the keyboard and adjust the logo scale if needed, so it's roughly of this size. Then right click the logo, select pre-compose, I'm going to name it logo, and make sure to select the movable attributes, then click OK. After that, click on toggle switches and modes until you see this exact color and make the layer 3D by checking this box and hide its visibility from here. Then go up to your layer, new solid, I'm going to name this one particles, then click OK, go to effects and presets window, search for particular and add it to the particle solid layer. Now head over to the effect controls panel, open up emitter dropdown, for the emitter type let's select layer, particles per second 10,000, emitter size Z50, set velocity to 0, then open the layer emitter dropdown and for the layer let's select the logo. I'm going to move a bit forward on the timeline to see the particles, then go up to layer, new camera, I'm going to select the 28mm preset, then again go up to layer new and this time choose null object make the null object 3d by checking this box and grab the camera's pick web and drop it onto the null to parent the camera to our null then make sure it's selected press r for rotation set x rotation to 75 degrees and y rotation to negative 45 degrees then move to the start of the timeline and create keyframes for x and y rotations then move to 5 seconds set x rotation to 45 degrees and Y rotation to 25 degrees. Then drag and select the keyframes, right click any of them, keyframe assistant is ease, or just press F9 as a shortcut to smoothen out the animation. Now I'm going to select the particles layer, I go up to edit, duplicate, or press Ctrl D as a shortcut. Then I'm going to rename the bottom layer to dust, here we're going to create small dust like particles. Let's head over to the effect controls, set particles per second to 1000, velocity to 50, then scroll down to the particle settings. Let's expand the drop down for particle. I'm going to set life to 2 seconds. Life random to 100. Then let's expand the size of our life drop down. Presets. And let's select the second preset. Then scroll down to the environment settings. Let's expand the drop down and set the wind Z to 200. That way the dust like particles will smoothly and slowly fall down. Now I'm going to select the particle solid layer once again, go up to edit, duplicate, and this time I'm going to rename the top one to lines. Now head over to the effect controls for the lines layer, set particles per second to 250, then scroll down to the environment settings and set wind Z to negative 600. This way we have extra particles that are flowing up. Now we are going to create that good old aux system. As you can see it's not in the settings in effect controls as it used to be. So let me show you how to create aux system in Dropcode Particular 18. Let's expand the drop down for show systems and click add a system. This will automatically bring up the designer window so simply click apply to close it. Now in effect controls make sure that the emitter says emitter S2. It might not say at first and you can just select the primary system, click on it and then click on system 2 again. So make sure the emitter says emitter S2 then expand the drop down for the emitter S2. Now expand the drop down for emitter type S2 and set it to emit from parent system. That will bring up the good old aux system. Now set particles per second to 200. Then scroll down a bit and set velocity to 0. Then again scroll down and set uh, life to 1 second. Sphere feather to 30%. Then expand the size of a life drop down. Presets. And select the second preset. Then keep scrolling down, set opacity to 50, expand opacity over life, presets, and again choose the second preset. Then scroll a bit down and set color from parent to 100%, so the aux system has the same colors as the main parent system. Now scroll all the way up to emitter settings, find velocity from emitter motion, and set it to negative 200. And you can see how much that extends the aux system or the second system. You can improve the look of the particles by adding motion blur to the lines layer by checking this box. And at this point we can add a background. For that let's go up to layer, new, solid. I'm going to name this one BG and place it below every other layer. 
Then go to effects and presets and search for gradient ramp, then add it to the BG solid layer. Here I'm going to simply place the start of ramp to the center of the composition and the end of ramp into the bottom left corner. I'm going to swap colors, set the ramp shape to radial ramp. I'm going to keep the end color as black and for the start color I'll choose a really dark blue, something like that. And don't forget to set ramp scatter to 100 to minimize the amount of color bendings. Then let's go up to a layer, new adjustment layer. Then go to effects and presets, search for glow. And let's add the regular stylized glow to the adjustment layer. I'm going to set glow radius to 20 and slightly decrease glow threshold to something like 40% so that the particles appear brighter. Let's also add noise to the adjustment layer. So search for noise in effects and presets, add it to the adjustment layer. And check use color noise and set amount of noise to 4% to minimize the amount of color bendings we might get. Now let's do a quick preview to see the results. And as you can see everything looks very very nice. And of course this animation is procedural as the every other one I've created. Meaning that if we go into the logo composition, I go and import a different logo, say the Snapchat one. Make sure to adjust the scale so it matches the previous logo's uh, size. Then I'm going to hide the Google logo go into the render composition and you can see everything has instantly adjusted to the new logo that we've added so let's do another preview and that is it for today guys i hope you enjoyed and learned something new in this tutorial if you did do not forget to leave a like as always thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace out